Hi, Candy. Hi, Crystal. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you. So what are some common uh, coupon myths? You know, there are a lot of coupon myths out there. I think one of the biggest ones is that it takes so much time to try to clip coupons. People will watch shows like Extreme Couponing and you'll feel like, I want to do that, but there is no way on earth I have that much time and energy to commit to that. I encourage people just start really small. Use a coupon database. We have one on moneysavingmom.com. You can type in any item name or brand name of something that you're already planning to buy and print coupons to save money, but you're not buying anything you're not planning to and you're not spending a ton of time to save that money. And does buying store brands make sense? I am a big believer in buying store brands and switching from name brand to store brand. And so many people, they feel like, oh, well, you know, is it going to be like, I just don't think I can do that. Don't knock it until you've tried it. We have found with our family that by making that switch so much of the time, we thought that the store brand was the same or even better than the name brand. And here's the deal. You can save so much money. For instance, if you buy baby formula, you can save 50% by switching from name brand to store brand formula. That can add up to be like $600 in a year. That's huge savings. Plus, you can print coupons for the store brand formula at storebrandformula.com. And do you have any advice on how to do more with less? I just encourage people, you know, before you make any purchase, step back and really ask yourself, do I need this? This simple question can help you to prevent a lot of buyer's remorse and to just not end up with all this stuff that you don't need. And can you tell us about the art of couponing? So many people want to get their grocery bill and they see the shows and then they think, oh, I want to go out tomorrow and I want to save 50% off my grocery bill. I encourage people to start really small. Start with a coupon database like we were talking about. Commit to just shaving 1% to 3% off your grocery bill every single month. And keep shaving that and keep shaving that every single month. You won't exhaust yourself. You won't feel all burnt out. And the thing is, over time, you keep lowering it by 1% to 3% every month. That's going to add up to a lot of savings. And do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share with us? I would love for people to check out my site, moneysavingmom.com. I have lots of money-saving tutorials, help you step-by-step -step how to cut your grocery bill, and give you lots of freebies and coupons, and just tips and encouragement to live a frugal life and enjoy it. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Crystal. I appreciate it. Have a great afternoon. You too. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you.